How big of a business can you grow as a garden consultant? I was asking myself this question when I first started. My sites were very small at the beginning. Um, my kids, two of my kids were going to private school just for a year and uh, it was $18,000, $9,000 a piece. And that was $18,000 too much for us. We were not prepped for that cost. And so for me, I needed to grow my business to be $18,000. I needed to make, to profit $18,000 in one year because uh, I was on the hook to pay for that private school tuition. Um, now, since that time, I realized I should have set my sights way bigger. I should have had much bigger goals. But you know, at the moment, that was all I needed. That was the main thing I needed to cover with my new business. And uh, over the years, I found the possibilities have been um, so much bigger than I anticipated and I think I still think too little. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about my biggest year as a garden consultant and then I'm going to share with you um, some garden consultants with Gardenary and let them tell you their story of their biggest wins in their business so far as well. If we haven't met yet, my name is Nicole Burke and back in 2015, I started a garden consulting business right out of my backyard in Houston, Texas. I had a few beds right alongside my driveway, I sent an email out that said, hey, I love two things about my city, the people and the gardens, and my new business combines both of them do you want me to help you in the garden? Uh, that was the start of something miraculous and spectacular and literally dream come true, where I get to help people learn how to garden all around the world. Um, but it all started from my driveway garden in Houston, Texas. Uh, so once I figured out my garden consulting business, I started helping gardeners around the world set up their own garden consulting businesses too. And we've gotten to train over a thousand to date with hundreds of them, very successful consultants that have been running businesses for two, three, five, even six years since they got trained by me. And uh, they've had some huge wins. So I can't wait to tell you all about them in just a minute. But first, let me tell you about my best year in garden consulting. And this was um, just a few years ago. So um, my company, my first year, we hit around six figures. We, I say we, but it was just me. Uh, the company made over $100,000. And then the next year, we just about doubled. And then the next year, we grew by like one and a half percent, 150%. 150%? something like that, not twice, not 100%. No, we grew by 50%, that's it. Um, so then fast forward and I thought had set this big number and you know maybe you've ever done this, but I, I really wanted a business that made a million dollars. And by that point, we had worked out the numbers and figured out how to grow a business to a million dollars. And uh, we had the numbers of how many clients we needed, how many consults we needed to do, and how many gardens we needed to install. So we set a goal for every single week of the year uh, that we'd be working generally around 40, it was about 48 weeks of the year. Um, we knew how many consultations we needed to do. Um, we knew how many uh, installations, so we would install kitchen gardens for clients, how many installations we need to do, and then how many maintenance clients we needed to take care of. So we had this perfect scenario. The consultations is like the intake where we get to know the client and get to start the relationship with them. The installation is where we give them our garden system and get them set up. And then the maintenance is where we get to keep ensuring their success and their continued growth in the garden. So we had these exact numbers, how many consults, how many installations, and how many maintenance services. And we had done the math to know exactly how many we needed to do each and every week of those 48 weeks of the year in order to hit our million dollars in sales. And sure enough, starting in January, we started off kind of slow. Uh, we didn't quite hit our numbers, but by February and into March, we were starting to hit those exact number goals that we had set for the year. Fast forward all the way till November, we had a big celebration. At that point, my company had been going for six years. Um, so we had a big celebration. We invited all of our clients to come. We had about 100 clients come and attend. Um, and it was right about that point where the company hit a million dollars in sales for that year, at least a month before uh, we got into the holidays and the end of the year. Um, it was in that moment I, I got to stand in front of all my clients um, at this big party and tell them, bring them way back to that first email I had written that I loved the people in the gardens of our city. And, uh, and I just looked on all these faces, um, you know, 100 people who I'd gotten to work with or my company had gotten to work with over the years. And 
um, I just started crying my eyes out because <laughs> I like I couldn't I couldn't believe that that little email had turned into this moment, right? And all these people were standing there and we were talking about the garden together and realizing each of them, when they went home, they had a garden in their backyard uh, because of that very first email. And so um, I cried my eyes out and it was a moment where I realized that business is really about two things. I knew this already, but um, it is about the money, right? You have to have money to have a business. And so hitting that million dollar mark was incredible. Um, but the other thing um, was the impact. And that's actually the thing that sticks with you much longer, much further than the money. And so, um, you know, looking at these hundred people that really represented probably six or 700 people I'd worked with, our company had worked with over those six years of time, um, that the people we'd reached, um, that the company had reached, that the gardens had reached was just so moving and, you know, so incredible to, to know that the work we were doing wasn't just about making a million dollars, um, it was creating hundreds of new gardens in our city and um, giving people like a new experience, a new skill, and helping them become someone they'd never been before, which is a gardener. And uh, so yeah, so that was my biggest win. That was 2021. We hit a million dollars in sales and, um, and it was definitely a pinnacle moment for me and for my business and um, a moment that, that I also thought of all the other garden consultants I've gotten to train and uh, wish that for them. Uh, and now I've gotten to see so many of them have parties and host events with their clients and get to have similar moments where they look around and see all the people they're impacting simply because they went for it, simply because they sent that email and started their own business too. So without any further ado, you gotta listen to some of their stories and their biggest wins. They've all started their businesses from scratch and learned from me and the Gardenary system. And now they're having these pinch me moments all over the country and across the world um, because they went for it and sent that email too. My biggest win since becoming a garden consultant is having this add-on to my business. So when I do the landscape design project, I can say, wow, this is a great area for you to have a vegetable garden. My biggest win so far is hearing from a person that I have consulted with who told me that their blood pressure has gone down and they're now off their blood pressure meds. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Now this particular person um, also watched me and what I do, how I eat, and has actually seen me go out into my garden and <laughs> pick a few leaves, bring them in the house and fix them. And so that person has latched onto that and changed their lifestyle because it's a lifestyle change. It's not something that you just do for a season or whatever, it's a total lifestyle change. And their blood pressure has gone down. I think honestly, the, the biggest wins are seeing that spark in other people when they, when they realize that they can do it too, that it's not a special mysterious thing that you're born with necessarily, but that you can learn it. So really seeing that, that win in, in the client's eyes and kind of that spark. And then another win was, um, creating uh, an herbal garden and production garden for a local nonprofit that they make medically tailored meals um, for people that need special meals and to create that garden with with the, the company and with the staff um, and to see it grow is, is pretty great. I have a client that wanted to have a way to get her kids outside and off technology and she also needed them to earn their badges for their uh, Boy Scout and Girl Scout with their troops. And so she wanted a big space that would be through their entire childhood that they would be able to just immerse themselves in. And it was so fun to create that project and get out there with the kids and help them plant and to continue this relationship as they grow. And, uh, and that was very fulfilling. My biggest win as a garden consultant, I say, I would say is that aha moment working with people when sort of the lights turn on and I can see the sparkle in someone's eye and they get it. They have that moment where they realize they can touch the plants and they can eat the plants. And um, it's like a little light bulb goes off. It's, um, I think it's the teaching moments 
and the aha moments that are the biggest wins for me. Um, I did actually just recently get my first paid consultant consultation. So that was a big professional win and that felt really good that, wow, I can actually get paid for this. <laughs> um, yeah, it really comes back to the connection and the, the aha moments. Those are the, that's what keeps me going. That's what gives me the fuel and the excitement to do this work. I think my biggest win as a garden consultant probably was um, really only at about 18 months um, doing this full time. And uh, last December, after six months in business, I won um, Best of Music City for the Tennessean. And um, it was kind of a big deal for me, like for people to recognize in such a short time that, you know, the work that I'm doing has some value to it and is, you know, something exciting that people can get behind. And it was a much needed boost as a new business owner, you know. I think it's important for everybody to learn how to grow their own vegetables. Um, I recently did a garden design and we had it installed for a local nonprofit, which is for um, adult and teen alcohol and drug abuse. Um, that's really been something that I felt like that it was giving back to the community. And I have just really enjoyed how much they've enjoyed gardening. And I've also been so surprised that people really don't know the simple act of gardening. And then most recently, I have worked with a local school who already had uh, several garden beds, but just needed a little direction on how to do those. So I think that's the things I've enjoyed the most. I think my biggest win has to be just like my clients' successes. I've, I've worked with a lot of urban gardeners with really small spaces and a lot of limitations and who thought that they couldn't grow food. Um, so just seeing them, you know, harvest their first carrots and, and have full baskets full of food. Are you inspired? Oh my goodness, there is nothing more beautiful than someone going for their dreams, right? Um, these people are the reason I do what I do. I was just telling Molly the other day, uh, we were watching some of these videos and I said, I have got to put this on a playlist and every time I'm having a hard day, I gotta go back and watch these stories and see these incredible gardeners who are creating incredible businesses. So if these wins inspire you, then I encourage you to slow your scroll, to turn off your screen and to just take a moment for yourself and, and think about your own dreams and the things that you care about and that you wanna build in your lifetime. Um, because tomorrow never comes. Today is the day to take action and to start building your own business. If you're a gardener, you should consider becoming a garden consultant. The timing has never been better. The demand has never been higher. And um, the impact and the income you can make, the potential has never been what it is right now. So you gotta do a couple things. You gotta go right below this video and uh, tell me the impact that you wanna make with your own garden consulting business. And then head to Gardenary.com and sign up for our upcoming garden consulting kickstart. This is a live event where I guide you through the key parts of the garden consulting industry and help you figure out if this could be a fit for you too. So check it out go right below this video. And then after you do that, Take a moment for yourself, write down your own dreams, and then start making them happen one email at a time. Thanks for watching.